here um, from Creative Wife Life. Um, so I just kind of wanted to do a um, day in the life kind of vlog from my first vlog back. Um, so I'm doing this. I have absolutely not a stitch of makeup on. I didn't even wash my face yet. Um, just being completely honest, um, which is basically the um, press the, the 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 reason for my my. Uh, blog my blog all that stuff and my new name and everything so right now it is 8 38 I've been up since about 7 5 I laid in bed though until like 7 45 uh, my daughter was um, jumping on me to get up and I was like no my husband still was here before he left for work so he got her some cereal so that was nice of him and um, I laid in bed till 7 45 and then he, he left for the day and um, I made up my bed, um, and then um, my daughter's in the other room right now. She's watching a show because I wanted some quiet time. So what I'm trying to do differently um, is have quiet time in the morning. I really need that as an introvert, and I try to pray, talk to God, talk out how I'm feeling for the day, how I'm feeling um, just in life. <laughs> So on and so forth. Um, and then I try to read the Bible. Um, and right now I'm in Psalms and I'm just reading Psalms right now. And um, then I go through um, my agenda and I look at if there's anything for the day that I'm doing. I look at my my dinner plan my meal plan as to what i'm making if maybe i want to change it up or maybe I, again and i did that actually today i was supposed to be making fish today and i was like i don't want fish i want breakfast so I, I, we as a family love breakfast so i'm gonna make pancakes and eggs and some kind of turkey bacon or sausage or something and uh that'll be our dinner tonight um so that's what I'm doing right now. So it's 8.40, I'm gonna finish up reading the Bible, and then we're gonna do some homeschooling. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so right now, I'm standing at the kitchen sink and I am doing dishes um, in my kitchen. Um, in the back, as you see, is my kitchen. Ta-da! Okay. Um, I typically don't like to leave dishes overnight. My husband and I um, worked out a deal where he does dishes on weekends and I do dishes during the week. I'm a stay at home wife and mother. So that's, you know, that deal kind of works for us. Um, so when I first started out, I'm like not leaving dishes overnight. No, 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 no. And then um, you just get tired, <laughs> especially after cooking and whatever. You just get tired of always doing dishes. Um, I don't know about you, but I do. I get real tired. So um, I left dishes in the sink last night. Okay, so let me show you the dishes I left in the sink last night. Um, I just started washing, okay? So this is it. Okay, so, um, sorry about that. So I, uh, that's what just happened. Okay, so I'm doing dishes right now. Um, because I'm about to Hello, homeschool. Hello, I have my bunny. Okay, hold on, baby. That's right, like, I'm about to homeschool my daughter, and um, I just want to, we do the, in the kitchen, because the light is really nice, and, you know, whatever, and so, whatever, but I don't want to be in the kitchen and it be dirty, because I'll be distracted and annoyed that the kitchen's dirty while I'm homeschooling Riley. So, I am deciding she just yeah I am deciding that I need to wash the dishes first can you just give me a minute quick baby okay so um, still I'm as real as can get right now my hair looks crazy um, I have natural hair and uh, I, had, I had uh, twisted it I love that hair. and um, it needs to just be redone I guess like it looks crazy. Anyway, so I am just going to wash these dishes and hopefully we'll catch back up again when I start homeschooling. Okay. Bye. Yay, my dishes are done. Okay. Let me see. Wow. So excited. 
Okay. So right now I'm going to set up. My daughter's doing something in the bathroom, like water something. Okay, but I didn't need to get this out of the way. So like I was saying in the clip before this, or maybe I didn't say it at all. So I didn't, I didn't, I shied away from vlogging because I felt like everything had to be perfect. My house had to be perfect. I had to look perfect. My hair had to look perfect. Everything had to be perfect. And for months and months and months, I love vlogging. I love YouTube. I love the community. I love um, interacting with people, the potential anyways, to interact with a lot of people. And um, I really loved it, but I was so insecure about my place. And I still, I like my space, but it's definitely not, um, nope, just, it's definitely not what I want it to be. Even my daughter right now, her hair isn't really combed. I mean, there's a lot going on. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show you. So my daughter just turned five, like last month. So she's technically not in kindergarten yet. And my husband and I were basically trying to figure out what to do, whether we want to homeschool. My husband's been expressing homeschool for a long time. And um, I was on board-ish. And um, so I kind of tried it out. I started trying it out last year, September, when she was still, she was like, I don't know, four and a half. And um, she wasn't in preschool, I was still at home. And I tried it out and I kind of liked it, but then we went through a lot of personal circumstances that were really hard and I stopped. So we moved in January to this other place that I really like. And I started again like in February, back again with doing the basic stuff that she should know for kindergarten, maybe a little bit more beyond. Anyway, so this is where I kind of keep all her stuff. So this is like her little area. Yeah. And she already knows her letters. I have a bike. And um, this stuff right here. And tell her um, I have What I'm doing right now is uh, what I'm doing. My daughter's not used to YouTube at all. She's not used to videoing. So she's obsessed and she wants to, she really wants to, um, be involved and I'm trying to just get this done this is like my area now this area is really not cleaned up but again it's real so anyways I uh, right now what we're gonna do this morning can you take out the light in the bathroom please what we're gonna do this morning is um, we're, I'm trying to get her to read and um, sound out her words and uh, I picked up this really awesome book from the dollar store <laughs> um, first words um, I don't know if that was backwards or not. Anyways, but it's for kindergarten. And we're doing words, and we're doing some words that are a little bit more beyond um, the book. But we, um, what we do is we go through, we do the worksheet, and then the words that are um, uh, on that worksheet for that day. Now, we don't do a whole new set of words every day because I think um, she'll just get overwhelmed. So we, I try to... Um, do the same set of words over and over and over again until she is comfortable she's comfortable with them and then um, we kind of move on um, she's still struggling with some of the words still but that's okay I think she'll get it um, so typically homeschooling in the morning lasts about an hour to like an hour and a half um, because we go through the words and it takes a long time for her to go through the words, sound them out, and I'm helping her uh, as well. And then we go through making sure that she knows how to write her name. She just can't help it. She can't it's, help it. It's, 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 uh... See, she's not, she's not used to videotaping. Anyways, what? she knows how to... I'm talking. So she knows how to write her name. But we just actually learned yesterday to write her last name as well. And we looked at the kindergarten standards. It's just her first name. So her first and last name is important. And then we'll work on her middle name as well. Write and spell out her first and last name using upper and lowercase letters, so on and so forth. Just things like that. Um, and uh, 
We're focusing on the basics of math as well, addition and subtraction, using manipulatives. So she'll use her blocks and, you know, do five minus four or 10 plus six, that kind of thing. It's really exciting to see her really figure that out. And without, and she uses her fingers as well, but she'll use the manipulatives and figure that out. And it's really exciting as well as writing the actual equation down. She can do that as well. So that's really exciting. So we are about to do some homeschool. I might film it a little bit. Okay. Okay, so um, <clears throat> it's 10.38. Um, I um, did some lessons with Riley for homeschool. And then I sat and I actually spoke with a good friend of mine um, for a while on video chat. Then I started working on my new blog, um, just creating it. Just a heads up, it's called Creative Wife Life. And I am working on it. It takes a while to get it up and running. I just made myself some toast and some butter and I had an orange. And what I'm going to do today, random, it's beautiful outside. I don't know, like 60 degrees. I think it's going to be a little bit warmer. We have these beautiful red barns in our backyard. And I'm going to dress up Riley and dress up myself and fix my hair and put a little bit of makeup on. And um, I'm going to take some pictures because I really need some new pictures of myself um, just to put up on my blog, on Facebook, and whatever because um, I have the same old pictures over and over and over and over again. It's annoying. So I'm going to try to do that today. So 10.39, I'm going to try to right now pick out an outfit for myself and um, make that happen. Okay. Okay, so hopefully I look a little bit different. I just try to touch up my hair a little bit, put some makeup on, I look a little light, and I changed my outfit. Um, I'll show you what my outfit is. I don't know if you can, please excuse what's happening here, but this is me in the mirror. So what I did, um, I put this purple shirt on, this fur, black fur jet vest with um, a belt, and like a leopard print skirt the shoes are not gonna be staying i'll actually put on um some boots like some boot cut boots so i'm hoping that this looks kind of different and cool um for what i'm trying to do just some pictures um and that's that so i'll be back in a minute okay so we're walking out to my backyard um, there is this beautiful um, red barn, um, and my I'm dressed and my daughter is dressed, and we're going to just take a few pictures. Um, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but my five-year-old can really take good pictures, so we're going to try to do that. So she's kind of running around, I hope she doesn't get dirty. Um, it's beautiful outside, it's about 60 degrees, which is not that warm, but it's warm enough um I'm out here. so we're gonna walk down this way hopefully this barn takes good pictures i'm hoping some stuff is growing over here uh, yeah so it's just totally beautiful outside um i grew i didn't i'm from canada originally but met my husband and we moved to new york city for six years so this is completely different than what I'm used to. <laughs> but it's really nice. The air is nice and clean and stuff. So right now I have my boots on, but I'm gonna do these little booties. What does booties mean? See, she's asking questions. Okay, we're gonna try to make this work. Okay, good. Okay, so we just finished the pictures. Hopefully by then I can insert some into the vlog. Um, <laughs> I think it went okay. Um, so tonight we're going to go and get some lunch and I'm going to look at the pictures and then we're going to actually went to the dollar store yesterday to get some flowers to plant, um, more for Riley so that she can experience gardening, I guess. So I got some marigolds and, um, uh, oh wait, hold on. I think those are weeds or something. I don't know what those are. I got some marigolds and you need to actually plant them inside for four to six weeks and then what does, what you 
plant them outside so we're at the end of what April it's kind of late but by the end of May we can plant them outside and I have a little gardening area outside of my house so super excited to do that um, so we will go forth okay <laughs> 